Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Good. Doing good. How are you? Very good. <laughs> it's so incredible that they got people from the first, like from the movie, to recreate their roles, like Warwick Davis and Joanna Asorsha. Yeah. 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 I know it's incredible. Yeah. Um, and I think that's part of the magic of, of the series is that we're not a sequel or anything or a tribute. We're, we're just continuing the story. Mm. Tony, what kind of stories did they have from the original production? Well, Warwick was telling us a bunch about them, um, you know, just about the community that he built, a lot of the friends he made along the way. Uh, beyond that, just kind of the same harsh terrain that we had to deal with. Yeah. They were um, filming in Wales as well, and New Zealand. They, they filmed yeah. most of it in New Zealand. Right. But we filmed most of it in Wales. So, like, they were telling us about the stories of that they had gone through what we are going through now. Yeah, I think Ron Howard, too, specifically. With yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Some, some, <laughs> some weather trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is such a great adventure, and you all had very physical roles. What was the most physically demanding scene for you, Ruby? Oh, that's a good question. Honestly... I mean, ah, that's a good question because literally every every episode I think has a has a really challenging for you yeah. fight sequence. Yeah, I think every every episode had something for me to really test my abilities physically. <laughs> um, probably the hardest one. Me and Aaron had this one fight where we had to get everything in sync, and that was really. That was really difficult. We worked really hard on that, though, and we finally really got it, and that was really satisfying. What was trickier, learning to sword fight or learning to ride a horse? Mm. For me, ride a horse. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was... <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. I think I was uh, more naturally adept at uh, mm. um, sword fighting and all that stuff, but mm. the second you put me on a horse, I had no idea what to do. Yeah. <laughs> That, mine was, I think all of it was very physically demanding, and that was just new to me. Yeah, but you were also just general. good at all of it. Well, <laughs> hey, thanks, Tony. You're welcome. <laughs> thanks. If there's a second season, what would you like to see happen with your characters? Oh, God. I would love to see Graydon reflect upon himself a little bit more mm. and be a little bit more open and kind of, you know, introspectively open with the rest of his friends. But mm. I'd love him to do it in Cabo. <laughs> yeah, I second that. Yeah. Honestly, I honestly would like to see us have more. Yeah, I actually genuinely would love to. Because I think we talked the first episode. <laughs> and then never talked again. We spent again. the rest of the time together. Yeah. But, but I don't think we ever converse again. <laughs> I know you were saying it was kind of harsh, the terrain, but what was the best thing about filming in Wales for you, Ruby? Hmm. The best thing about filming in Wales. I think it was definitely just the opportunity to get to live somewhere new. We spent like nine months there, almost 10. And mm -hmm. that was just, I mean, just transplanting yourself and your whole life and your whole world to somewhere that you've never been before around people that you've never met before was, I mean, it obviously came with its challenges, but that was a really cool opportunity to like mm -hmm. get to know a whole new city and get to travel around rural Wales and get to know a bunch of new people. That, that was really cool, really taught me a lot. <laughs> Sweet. It's true. <laughs> and finally, for both of you, what would be your dream role? Dream role. Dream role. Wow. Um, oh my god. That's a tough one. Um, I mean, there's so many, right? The, the the kid in me would love to, you know, do something in maybe like the Percy Jackson series because I grew up reading Ooh. those and I love that. Ooh. Or I would love you to know, see you in that world. Like playing an anime character because I love that mm. but the yeah, adult in do... me oh, yeah. yeah the adult in me would probably love to do something like I don't know The Alchemist by Pablo Coelho mm. play Santiago in that wow what about you plan. you said something after I said anime no I definitely would love to get into like voiceover work and animation I think Ooh, that would be really cool you have a great voice for yeah. it yeah hey th you too yeah, you I do mean a you great do great Scooby impression too <laughs> oh god I think you're talking about yourself no no no, no. you were doing it give us a little face <laughs> can we do it together yeah ready okay no you're not gonna do I it I am gonna Will do it actually? yeah I'll do it okay one two what are we saying I don't know whatever you want to say okay one two three raggy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
That's uh, awesome. I think you both would be great at doing voiceover work. Yeah. He's gotten his, he's dipped his toes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for talking to me today. And I really am looking forward to a second season. If there's going to be one, don't, don't give it away. But um, please, awesome. thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank I you. love your questions. They're really thoughtful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel or if you're returning, but you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, tap it now, plus the notification bell in the top right-hand corner so you make sure you don't miss out on any new celebrity interviews. Also, hit the like button and tell me below in the comments, who's your favorite star? Who would you like to see me interview next? I'd love to hear from you.